YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, y'all see the title of the video. So this video is going to be about why I'm so aggressive. I'm finna go to the gym right now, but when I get out of the gym, I'm gonna tell y'all why I'm so aggressive. I just wanted to tell y'all what this video is gonna be about. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, play, play two underscores. And um, I'm gonna see y'all in about 30 minutes. Uh. YouTube, so I told y'all I'm gonna be back, y'all. Bruh, I got rained on, clothes drenched. Bruh, had to take a shower because, you know, I'm just not trying to get sick, bruh. So I had to take a shower, cut the heat off and all that. And plus, I was a little, I don't know. I don't know why it's raining. It just rained on me, bruh. Bruh, the whole Pacific Ocean just fell on me, y'all. My head just a little wet because I just got a shower. But I'm finna tell y'all why I'm so aggressive when it comes to these topics about the LGBTQ community. So if you don't appreciate play for being play go ahead have a good day have a good one it's friday do your thing people gonna judge they're gonna judge if you understand you understand i'm just keeping a rack you know that's all i can do um, a lot of people ain't gonna keep it at a thousand a lot of y'all are just mediocre a lot of y'all don't mind being a follower and um, I told y'all, when I was 23, I vowed not to be no follower. So I'm now finna tell y'all why I'm so aggressive. Honestly, I'm so aggressive when it comes to these topics, y'all, because, because honestly, growing up, I listened to a whole lot of the BS. Example, like, um, what's an example that's BS? Dating single mothers, respectfully, like. Or, or thinking that men aren't the prize, like, you know what I'm saying? So, and not even just that too, not even just learning how life really is, but just being a pushover, y'all. When I was younger, I was the timid kid. I was the, you know what I'm saying? I was the timid, I was the timid youngster. The timid, the timid youngster. I ain't gonna lie. I was the pushover. People stepped on me, stomped on me, and I didn't do nothing about it, but think in my head, I can't wait to get older. You know what I'm saying? So honestly, y'all, y'all see a lot of aggression coming out of me is because I have a chip on my shoulder from since I was be being younger in general. And like, let's be all, we are, let's be real. We all done dealt with some childhood traumas, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not going to say that that's a big part of why I'm so aggressive. But one thing I will say, I just remember like not speaking up for myself the way I want to. So now that I'm grown now, I'm on that ass, respectfully. And I'm just not finna sugarcoat it for nobody. Barack Obama, Michelle Obama could be right here and I'm gonna be talking the same way. Like, that's just what it is. So now when we get to talking about the topics about the community, like, it's like most of the world don't understand, like they wanna get on people for not having logical a logical mindset. But they don't live, you know what I'm saying, like they have a logical mindset. Like, most people out here are worried about what other people do, y'all. I can't even cross my leg because I might, y'all might see my jumps and you hear me. But most people out here, real deal, y'all, they they followers, but they'll but they'll portray that image like they're a leader. You see what I'm saying? And it's even crazy with the community. I keep saying this, but it's just like, it really just don't make sense to me. How do people hate people for living their truth? How can you tell someone what their truth is? So me personally, I just look at it like, bro, can we just stop the sugarcoating? Can we stop sugarcoating these messages? Like we let, respectfully, we let women, and even some men, say the dumbest shit on earth when it comes to about sexuality like it just don't make sense it'll never make sense growing up we've seen it y'all we've seen it y'all we've seen it all over the board hold on y'all let me put this towel up all over the board we've seen it bro from early 2000s till now like Women can do what they want to do. They can bounce back and forth. But the only thing different between now and the 2000s is shorties was really DL. They were still dancing on each other and this and that. But the thing is, in that time in the early 2000s, we not knowing. We wasn't really, I'm not going to say we wasn't knowing, but we wasn't even, it wasn't even 
in our spectrum to think that women be liking each other. Like me personally, y'all, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna cap to y'all. I didn't start knowing about the community and stuff until I really got a little older. I'll probably say what about fifth grade is when I had I had went to a school and I seen a, I seen a gay man for the first time. Well, not a gay man, but because we was in fifth grade, but he was gay. You know what I'm saying? And everybody around school knew and all that. So that's like really my first time seeing gay was in fifth grade. Gay, bisexual, whatever y'all want to call it. You know what I'm saying? Don't mind too why it's so dark out here. Like I told you, it's going to rain. But that's not going to stop our grind. So I say that to say this. It's just like the way I'm going to talk about these messages it's going to be harsh and rude or y'all going to, some of y'all might be like, oh, he got some mental problems. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what? Next. And what? Some of y'all got problems too. Like a lot of y'all want to act like y'all just so perfect. Y'all haven't punched a hole in the wall. Y'all haven't stuttered. A lot of y'all want to type all these long paragraphs, big words and all that. And you act like you better than me. I'm just keeping it real on how I see things, and I just call a spade a spade. Most of these women out here walking double standards, and a lot of men out here don't even understand that because they letting these women with no brain dictate their life and their happiness. I just speak on it, and y'all hate me for speaking on it? I should really be mad at y'all for letting folks speak like this. Y'all, I, I should really be mad at y'all because why isn't it more people out here really talking about the community and really spreading this message so we could dead the, the the dumb shit for real for real shout out to say so tv man like it's only a couple folks genuinely that i rock with that under that i understand they message and they they rock with mine like bro i'm telling y'all bro it's only a couple folks i can't but only 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 ninja i can name other than say so is me <sighs> Respectfully, like a lot of y'all be worried about what people think about y'all, this and that, or oh, or oh, oh, talking about gay men and open minded men. That's a that's a that's a sensitive subject. I don't think I want to talk about that. I might quote unquote get canceled, get canceled for keeping it real. Respectfully, y'all, if, if I was to get canceled, Lord knows, let me knock on wood, or, or I can knock down here. Respectfully, if I was to get canceled, this is how my mind works. If I was to get canceled, bro. I just look at it like that would be a sign. I'm, I'm keeping it too real. Not to say that that's what I want, but I'm just saying, like, the way my mind works, I would be thinking, okay, if that happens, I just kept it too real. They can't stop the message. But that's what but that's what the world do, though. They want to cancel real stuff. I'm not saying that's my motive, that's what I want to do, because y'all know now, your boy got to eat, your boy got bills to pay, too. I'm just saying, for an example. That's how I, that's how I would take it, respectfully. Like, oh, oh, I'm talking that talk, and a lot of y'all don't, a lot of y'all don't like me. A lot of y'all don't. Y'all try to take everything back to 12th grade, 11th grade. I don't care how many degrees, PhD. I don't care about none of that. Let's talk about having a logical mindset. What makes sense and what don't make sense. I don't care how many degrees you got. You'll tell somebody four times four is what? 16, right? But since I'm talking about these little sensitive topics and shit, you want to beat around the bush. Or, oh, you're aggressive. You're this, you're that. Yeah, ninja, I'm a man. Y'all would be clowning me if I was up here being a little hoe. Beating around the bush. Y'all comment down below what y'all think about this video. I want to, um, I'm trying to relax. I'm relaxing. I'm working on my anger, y'all. When things don't go your way, when things don't go my way, this is what I'm starting to do. I just went back from the gym, got rained on, and then y'all, when I'm, bro, I'm telling y'all, bro, it felt like damn that hell falling on my head. Bro, it's the mindset, bro. While I'm walking and getting rained on in my head, I seen other people before they walked out the gym, they, oh, oh, it's raining, it's raining. In my head already, I'm like, if I stop, I'm already walking back to the spot. If I stop my walking, if I don't walk out of there and I wait like everybody else got cars and shit, it's different, y'all. If I sit right here and wait for it to start raining, I still got to walk this 20 minutes. 
So you know what I did, y'all? I walked my ass in the rain. And in my mind, I'm just like, I couldn't even tell y'all was in my mind. In my mind, I'm just like, I'm telling myself like, Ninja, you him. Like, you him. You reaching the best version of yourself. Because, man, come on, bro. Folks ain't walking in the rain from no gym session. Just left the gym session sore. Draws wet, pants wet, shirt wet, phone wet, wallet wet. Folks not doing it. So I say all that to say this. I know folks are probably looking at me. I ain't give a damn. And y'all probably like, where's he going with that? It's the same thing with this right here. Why am I so aggressive? I don't give a damn. You don't have to like what I do. Understand the message that I'm pushing out. You don't have to like, you don't have to like the speaker of the message, but you can't act like you don't understand the message. I'm simplifying it. Like I said, I'm quote unquote, I'm a dropout. So you really should understand the damn message. I'm just saying. But yeah, I'm so I'm aggressive because growing up I was a pushover. And because a lot of y'all wanna sugarcoat this double standard world we live in and i will not i will not be a part of it i will not be a part of it i call a spade a spade i don't care how fine a hoe is if she tell me ew you ew, ew you you smashed a ninja you'll never get this that don't bother me because i asked that same hoe have you let a girl eat your uh or have you ate a girl uh and i'm gonna make them hoe look stupid you know what y'all will do a girl that be doing some quote-unquote gay shit, y'all a little slide because she, cause she fine or because she got well, how many ever followers on Instagram. Or I don't care what hoe it is, y'all. I really don't. It could be Ari, Jada, uh, Ice Spice, any of them. I don't give a damn. I keep it real. Something that y'all can't do or y'all too scared to do. This is me. If you don't like it, unsubscribe and please slide. I'm so I'm I'm, I'm aggressive because y'all not taking these topics seriously, y'all. People really out here. When I was 18, 19, y'all, I'm telling y'all, bro. I was I was so lost. I'm not knowing. Like in my head, mentally, I'm already feeling like, bro, I'm, I'm cooked. I'm not gonna have no family later on. Like y'all, y'all don't understand. I was really planning on hurting myself, harming myself. I'm talking about harming myself to the point where play wouldn't be here. So, y'all be like, oh, why he so aggressive talking about these topics? Because this shit is real. We got young men and young women out here that's really harming themselves. Don't even want to be on this world no more because you got the majority of these dumbass folks trying to paint, try, trying to project how they think, but how they think don't be right. How they think.